So hello everybody, my name is Jamie Life and welcome back for some more The Walking Dead. Lee, a word please? Alright, here we go. First, Clementine. You okay? Katya needs you for something. Okay then. What's up? Is Duck feeling alright? Oh no. What the fuck? Happened during the raid. Oh no. <laughs> What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Not that you've ever afforded us that type of luxury. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Oh, God. Duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I don't feel good. What about Doug? Um. There's nothing to say. It's horrible. I'm sorry if no, I. No, you don't apologize. You had nothing to do with it, sweet. Dream. We got something up ahead. Damn it. Roads blocked. Now we got to deal with this. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. And I'd like everyone out of the RV except her. I don't want folks trapped in there with her. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clint, stay close to Kenny and Kat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? Hadn't crossed my mind. Huh. Okay. Um. Oh, I can climb. Onto the train, onto the 
cat. Let's talk to Ben first. Uh, I'm not going to ask him that. Um, what would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. Hmm. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys are dead. I would have died out there in the woods. Just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. <sighs> no, I'm not gonna ask him. I... I think it was Doug, actually. Because he was, he was so protective of a bent. I think it was Doug. Oh, I feel like someone's gonna be inside that box. Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. So you jump the other side, or... There's a map. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. That's convenient. Uh, there's nothing else in here. Oh, there's water. I'll take this to Kendra. For Doug. Let's do that now before I forget. Oh, I have to go through this. Okay, so water, Here, the duck. Found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't, but you're probably right. All right, map to Kenny. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks lead right to Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it. Right. I want to just see what's on the other side. Might be some useful stuff. Um, oh, you can get on top. Oh, yeah, let's, let's unclip this. There's got to be a better way to do this. Okay. Oh, yeah, because that would be... It's derailed. Derailed. <laughs> derailed. Um... I don't think there's anything... Yeah, there's nothing else around here, so let's head on top of the... The train cart. Shit. Broken. Oh. Oh. Apparently there's not a better way to do that. That I have access to. Unless we got the train started to move. I, d I don't know. I'll soon find out when I try and move it. Uh, what's in here? Oh, hello. I can prime the engine. Nothing. Okay, maybe there's something else I need to do. Well down here. Ooh, there's tools. Ah. Hmm. 
I do love this game. This game is so fun to play. It really is. Here we go. It's stuck. I can definitely pry this thing free. If I can break it loose first. So... Can I carry more than one tool? Cutscene type thing to... Like this. There's like three or four of those you have to go through. To go back and forth. So can I just pick up all of the tools? No, I can't. What did I pick up? I picked up a... Uh, I'm going to... I'll try that. Let's go in the cabin first. Shit. Oh. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. We ought to look him over. Yeah. Damn. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it. Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. So... Look at the console. I have no idea what to do with these. That's <laughs> brilliant. Uh, aha! Ugh. That's gross. No idea what to do with these. Let's talk to Kenny. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. Okay, so I've got to deal with that first. I'm not sure. One hell of a mess. Look, uh, you can't get around there at all. Can't have anything to do with the RV. Actually, why can't I get in the RV? I could talk to Lily. Hey, Lily. Lily. I'm sitting here tied up like an animal while you guys decide what to do with me. It's not like that. Then what's it like? I could have left you. Okay, so there's nothing to do with the RV. Hmm. It's that lever. Bunch of maps about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. Look at the notepad. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. And it's been ripped off. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Fine. Oh, oh, if we get, um, Clementine. Because she can do the, um, the scratchy thing with, um, 
the uh, the crowns, not crowns. Uh, oh, you know what I mean. Hey, Clem. What are you going to do with Lily? Uh, I don't know. Something, I suppose. I don't know what we can do. She killed him. Yeah, it, it's horrible. Oh, what? I thought I had something. No! We found a notebook that we think might have had some starter directions on it, but the page is missing. Well, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. Perfect. How stuck? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Have you heard anything out of Lily in there? Not a peep. I don't like that. She's probably in shock. She did a monstrous thing. Has Clementine said anything to you about Doug or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Doug. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. You were standing right there. Are you doing okay? Um... I was. It was awful. One of the worst things I've seen yet. I'm sorry you and... Oh my god, Clementine had to see that. I liked him very much. He'd spent some time in Belgium. Where your family's from? Yes. Even further away now. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. Is Ken all right? What is he doing? He's put his mind to figuring out the train. What about you? Same thing, sort of. I found some instructions, but I can't read them. Oh. Well, I'm sure someone can help you. I need to find the cray... The, 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 oh, what are they called? Chalk. Chalk. I need to find the chalk. And do the, the scratch thing. Where's the chalk? Lily. Did we leave the chalk? A pencil. Uh-oh. I could have killed you. I had you while you were rummaging around in the front there. I know you did what you did for a reason, and part of me understands. The other part sees you with your back turned to me and knows I could have killed you. I need to go. Well, that's good. Let's focus on the train. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Duck is still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. Don't worry, I'm right on that. And we used a pencil to shade it. Yes! <laughs> 
perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Right, so... Six... Five, nine, nine. Okay, so six, we have to... Okay, that, that means absolutely nothing, but... Okay, let, let's find six. Uh, down, down, up, 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 down, up. Down, down. I've already forgotten. Yeah, they're both up. Oops, nope, wrong button. Okay. Oh, there we go. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up. So far, so good. Okay. Now the next thing is five. Now we're talking. And what's next? It was nine nine. I think it's the bit on the outside now. It has to be. Nope, I've gone into the wrong one. Left and then right. Let's go. <laughs> Holy shit, we're golden. Yeah, we are golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. Ah, oh, finally. Let's go. It's all yours. That's just the throttle. That's it, that's all. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Right. So that should have, I'm guessing, weakened the rusty parts. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. You touch any of my stuff? For where? Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. 
He gave us candy. Ben too. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. Sorry, your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Right. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Doc's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Captain. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. <sighs> he's... I understand his grief, but he's turning into a right jerk. Let's go. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them. Um. No. Ah, living got them. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's if you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. All right, but I don't know where we're stopping to. Oh, is this the way? Yeah. I'm not sure where we're going to stop.
You need to stop the train. Show him the rag. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. <sighs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial. And you've given up on Duck, on everyone. Stop it, goddammit. Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? I don't want to fight him. Uh, let's just calm down. Calm down and... How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. And a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. Hey. been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. What do you need? I... I... Gotcha. It's time to... Oh, this is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill, or... Something we can just give him. Stop it. Can just drift off to sleep. Right, hun? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but... This is beyond no. you. I'll do it. No, it should be apparent. No parent should have to do something like this. Lee's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest? 
so Clementine doesn't have to see. Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are. What the? No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. She could. She, 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 oh, 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 fuck! Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Oh, God. Kenny. That is rough. Hey, how you doing? I don't care what reason you have for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Cause she is. 
I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? Do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well, then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you, it won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. I'm not a barber. It ain't gotta be style, Jesus. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before Walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. I've been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Be safe up here. You betcha. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of The Walking Dead. If you liked it, hit that like button, hit that J2, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you all next time.